Hello and welcome to Board Game Nights of the Round Table, to where until we get a budget, our tables are a rectangle. I'm Chris. I'm Steven. And today we're playing Onitama. <laughs> So, uh, to play Onitama, we're going to deal out four cards to, uh, two to each player. we got an elephant, and a rabbit, and there's an eel, and the ox. And then we're going to deal out a third, our fifth card, uh, the crab. And uh, the crab has this little color in the corner here, which is blue, indicating that the blue player will go first. So we'll have it facing me. Um, so, the way you play Onitama is you look at the card, the card shows... Uh, it has a black square indicating the pawn that you want to move and the uh, Colors that are not black on that the squares that are not black because they're different colors are the, the movement options you have um, So in this case of the rabbit I can either move diagonally up diagonally backwards or two spots over uh, The catch is I cannot move on to one of my own pawns and I cannot move off of the playing field so the goal is to either capture your opponent's uh, monk is it called a monk or master? Master. master. These are monks. That's master. Yeah. <laughs> to capture your opponent's master or to have your master land on the other uh, shrine, the other color shrine. Um, so to um, capture another piece, you simply uh, play the card. So that this, this rabbit shows you that you can move diagonally up. So he would move here and I would capture that pawn. And then I would take this card, put it over here, take this card into my collection. Simple enough? Yeah. Alrighty. Well, we're gonna play right away here. Um, and again, because of the, the uh, fifth card having a blue shade down here in this corner, I'm not even sure if that's on screen, but having a blue shade in this corner indicates that I go first. If it had been red, then Steven would have gone first. Okay. These are all pretty good cards, actually. Um, I think I'm gonna play the elephant first. All right. I think I will play the eel, and I'm gonna move this monk right there. All right. Mm. Looks like you're copying me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna play the rabbit and go, well, go here and put this here I am I think I'm gonna play the ox and I will move this one up one I'm gonna play the eel move this guy over here mm -hmm. This guy up to there. Hmm. Okay. Try to see what. Uh, let's see if he could go. Okay. Well, I will play the ox. Take this piece. play the eel and I'll go ahead and take one of your pawns as well. Ok, 
Okay, well, I will play, try to see if there's anything. So I will play uh, the rabbit. Ox, then I'm gonna move my guy right there. Um, oh, wait, actually. You wanna take Oh, you have the crown. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, actually, I meant to go this way. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> You're good. I was like, um. That's why I looked at the eel. I was like, making sure you didn't go right instead of, you know, instead of left. Okay. Not bad. I guess I'll have to play my eel. Oh, sorry, for the record, I'm gonna go there and then come mm -hmm. back here. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll go ahead and play the rabbit then, and I'm gonna take your pawn here. You can take your eel. I want to take the eel. Oops, sorry. You're good. Hmm. Okay, I'll play the ox to move this guy forward. Okay. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I think I should be safe doing this. <laughs> yeah, I think so. All right, yeah. heal. I'm gonna go diagonal that way. Take the ox. Okay. That's actually a pretty powerful combination of the ox and the elephant. I will take the rabbit and go up here. Okay. I'm gonna keep these guys off. This is just too, <laughs> too rolly to keep them on. All right. Now you guys start to do the classic running up the stairs, like Kung Fu movie trope, you know? Right. That crab is just really strong. It is. That's kind of why I've been hoarding it this whole game. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think. I think I'll use the ox. And I'm going to move this guy up one. I think I'm still good. I will use my eel. My guy here. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, rabbit then. I think I can, should be able to do this. <laughs> Elephant too. Yeah, the elephant's good. That's why I'm keeping it. Yeah, it's a good just, out of controlling. Just yeah. in case. Um, okay. The rabbit's really good too, though. I I'm happy with all these cards actually. Yeah. Like this is this has been a fun combination. Okay. Well. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, I can do... Oh, I think I can... Actually, um, I will use... I think I should be good with this. Eel to go back right there. And I think, and I think I should be safe right there. Yep, that's uh... So the question becomes... I think there's only really one option. I guess I could go over there, but I don't really like that. I mean, they're both pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, I'll just use the rabbit to jump back here. Okay. I could go over there, but I don't know if that actually does any, anything super productive for me. Yeah. Okay. move actually elephant to here yep nice um well I might as well just go down swinging <laughs> 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 And then, mm -hmm. yeah, ox to go in. Ta-da! Yeah, <laughs> well played, sir. Yep. Um, so that was um, Onitama. Uh, what are your thoughts on it? That's fun. It's fun. Uh, I like the all the different combination of cards because that was like four out of what, like, like almost twenty cards, fifteen cards, something like that. So, something. Um, yeah. If you're from the instruction book, I can. Oh um, yeah. I mean, we can count them too. But yeah, you know. the, the <laughs> component list. Um, right. Right. Yeah, it's like 16, 16 cards. 16 cards. Yeah. 16. Sorry, you could play this game, what, four times without seeing the same card. And then, right. like, you think about the, um, there's there's a lot of combinations oh, in yeah. here. So, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. But I like the strategy of it. It's a small game, but I, it, you know, there's a lot you can do with this game. It's fun. Yeah. I think it's a great two player game and it's the right amount of length. Oh, yeah. Uh, the card movement's fun and their strategy. I had a feeling that you were going to win that one. Like, I knew you were, you were getting really close. So I. <laughs> that I elephant was just well. too short. The elephant and the crab are both yeah. like that. Those were the kind of the I, cool cards of that game. Yeah. I was hoping you would get rid of the crab because then, like, the elephant and crab combination just seems really strong. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. So. Well, okay, guys, uh, we just want to say thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take the initiative, roll out. See you.